Welcome back. With the holiday season upon us, doctors are warning parents tonight about the dangers of tiny batteries getting into the wrong hands of young children. Many of them are found in toys they play with. Stacey Ann Gooden has some important advice for parents to keep their kids safe. These are the various things we've taken out of kids' uh, throats, their esophagus, their lungs. This is Dr. Neha Patel's wall of shame. What is this? Is this a diamond? So this is unfortunately just a fake diamond. She documents and keeps um, items yeah, she's extracted yeah, over the um, years, yeah, among yeah. them lithium button batteries found in everyday household items like remotes, calculators, watches, and children's toys. They can cause damage a lot faster than most batteries and cause permanent damage within a couple of hours. Children love shiny things, and you can imagine if a child saw a stash of batteries, um, they would want to touch it and play with it and explore. As director of quality at LIJ, she began an initiative to raise awareness about the dangers of children swallowing button batteries after noticing a sudden spike in cases. You know, traditionally, we were probably seeing maybe six button batteries a year. And then just a couple of years ago, we had six in a two, three month period. And rates have also increased nationally. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, more than 70,000 children in the past decade went to the emergency room after swallowing the device. When a child swallows a lithium battery, the effects can be explosive. Hydroxide radicals and a button battery create an electrochemical reaction that is essentially like a bomb going off in your throat. And could have life-threatening consequences. They can actually erode through the esophagus and into the aorta, which is a big blood vessel that comes right off of the heart. To avoid a potential deadly outcome, Dr. Patel says prevention is key. When changing batteries, do so away from children. Store them in a safe compartment and make sure the items purchased are not easily accessible to kids. Also, watch for signs. It's one thing if you saw your child swallowing this battery, you know, but a lot of times it's unsupervised. Maybe they're coughing more than usual, they're drooling more than usual, they have some noisy breathing. <gasps> In the event a button battery is ingested within 12 hours, Dr. Patel recommends giving children over the age of one two teaspoons of honey every 10 minutes until medical help arrives.